teman-teman welcome to thematic tutorial so this today we will discuss on how to find the mean deviation of the following data so ito yung class limits natin so 30 to 34 25 to 29 that is our class limits and the given frequency is 4 5 6 2 and 3 so in order to find the mean deviation of this data first we need to find the value of the mean tapos na natin discuss ito so that dito yung formula so how to find the value of the mean first we need to complete the frequency distribution table so ano yung xm so that is okay x sub m that is the midpoint of its class so 30 to 34 ano yung midpoint so okay that is 32 okay very good 32 25 to 29 27 this one is 22 this one is 17 this one is 12 so that is the midpoint of each class that is the value of x sub m how about the total frequency so 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 that is 20 next how to find the value of f times x sub m so you need to multiply f x sub m multiply natin yan so meaning multiply natin ito frequency times the midpoint na yung sagot natin so una if we multiply 4 times 32 the result is 128 then 5 times 27 that is 135 then 6 times 22 that is 132 next 2 times 17 that is 34 next 3 times 12 that is 36 then find the total sum of this f x sub m equals that is equivalent to 128 plus 135 plus 132 plus 34 plus 36 that is 465 okay that is the total sum of f times x sub m or the total sum of the midpoint next substitute natin yan dito so 465 divide 20 so that is what is your answer okay that is 23.25 ito na yung value of the mean hindi ito mean division next after natin nakuha yung value ng mean proceed to this mean division so ito yung formula ng mean deviation it is the total sum of f times the absolute value of x sub m minus the value of the mean ito yung mean o oh. ito yung x sub m so we will make the absolute value of x sub m minus m n absolute value meaning pag negative yung answer natin automatically positive so positive lahat ng number so tingnan natin yung formula x sub m subtract m sub n so meaning ab midpoint or the midpoint of its class subtract the value of the mean so paano, nat paano natin yan kunin subtract lang natin so what is the value of x sub m so that is 32 subtract 23.25 what is your answer okay that is 8.75 next another value of x sub m that is 27 is subtract natin ulit yan sa 23.25 so the answer is 3.75 next 22 subtract 23.25 
the result is 1.25 next 17 minus 23.25 that is 6.25 then last 12 minus 23.25 the answer is 11.25 so, nakuha natin yung absolute value of x sub m minus m sub n. Next, we will find the value of f. This one, f times x sub m minus m sub n. So, multiply lang natin yan. Mag-base tayo sa formula sa taas. Itong F, that is the frequency, din ito yung absolute value, ito absolute value of X sub M minus M sub N, ito yan. So meaning you need to multiply the frequency times ito. So multiply. So 4 times 8.75 that is 35 then 5 times 3.75 that is 18.75 next 6 times 1.25 that is 7.50 next 2 times 12 or 6.25 so 2 times 6.25 that is 12.50 and last 3 times 11.25 that is 33.75 then find the total sum of F times the quantity or the absolute value of X sub M minus M sub N so i-add natin ito 35 plus 18.75 plus 7.50 plus 12.50 plus 33.75 the result is 107.50 ito yung total sum of F times the absolute value of M minus MN equals okay so that is 107.50 then, using this formula, MD equals the total sum of F times the absolute value of X sub M minus M sub N over N. So, equals, tingnan natin yung total summation of F. Ano yung total? So, that is 100. 7.50 over ang n that is the total frequency so that is 20 so ang mean division of this given data is 5.375 so ito na yung sagot divide lang natin ito sa 20 so that is 5.375 and that is your mean division okay that's all for today good evening